We will be performing the conductivity lab. In this lab, we are looking at how different concentrations of three different ionic solutions influence conductivity. We are using one molar sodium chloride, one molar zinc two chloride, and one molar iron three chloride. In this lab, we, were all, we are also using a veneer lab quest and a conductivity probe. The first step is to use three beakers rinsed with deionized water and we are going to measure 70 milliliters of deionized water and put them in each of these three beakers. Here we have three graduated cylinders each with 70 milliliters of deionized water that we're going to use in our experiment. Each graduated cylinder we will pour into a beaker that we will use for either sodium chloride, zinc 2 chloride, or iron 3 chloride. For our first trial of using sodium chloride, we have our conductivity measured here. Please be sure to um, look at your conductivity probe and make sure that the toggle is at the 0 to 2000 mark in order to get the achieved reading. Our conductivity tester, we're going to use a waste beaker and our deionized water to rinse it off to get any solution that may be left on there, any ions that are on there off before we measure our initial water. So what we have right here is an initial reading of deionized water with a conductivity of 13, 13 to 14, 15. Wherever this number stabilizes is the one that we will write down. So 16 is our initial zero um, drops of sodium chloride. I'm going to add one drop of sodium chloride to see how the conductivity changes. One drop, give this a swirl. Where this number stabilizes is what we will write down. 89 is our conductivity measurement for the first drop of sodium chloride. I will now add drop number two. There's our second drop of sodium chloride. Again, I'm going to use my conductivity tester and just mix it up and allow the number to stabilize. One seventy-eight. Ooh, there it moves. One seventy-six for two drops of sodium chloride. This is our last drop. There was our last drop of sodium chloride. So we're going to give this one last stir. Let the number stabilize to measure our conductivity. Two twenty-two. So two twenty-two is our final number for our conductivity of sodium chloride and our three drops. When I'm finished, this is safe to go down the sink, and I'm going to use my waste beaker and my DI water and rinse off my probe. So when I do the next experiment, it's not contaminated. All right. For the next test, we're going to be looking at. Um, we've got our fresh beaker of DI water, 70 milliliters, that we already measured. So now we're going to be writing this initial conductivity down um, for zero drops. So zero drops for our second trial of zinc chloride, zinc 2 chloride. We have 12, so please um, record that. Next, we're going to do the same procedure we did before, one drop at a time, and this time we're using one molar of zinc chloride. So here's our first drop. There's our first drop. Give this a swirl. We're gonna let the number stabilize and then record. It's the same process that we did for sodium chloride and we're repeating it for zinc chloride. One 
148 for one drop of zinc chloride. Now we're going to add a second drop. There's our second drop of zinc chloride. We gave it a swirl. And we're going to let the number stabilize and then record. Two eighty four for our second drop, and now our final third drop of zinc chloride. Give that the swirl. Three sixty two three. Three sixty-seven, three sixty-eight for our final drop of zinc chloride. So at three drops, we have three sixty-eight, three sixty-nine. Now that this is done, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. This is safe to go down the sink. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to use my waste beaker and rinse off my conductivity probe again, and give it a really nice rinse. Again, this is uh, to make sure that there's no contamination between trials. All right, for my final trial, we're gonna repeat. I have my new beaker of 70 milliliters of deionized water. Our initial reading of zero drops, again, is holding steady at 12. So zero drops um, is 12 for our conductivity. We now will be using one molar of iron three chloride and we're gonna do the same process as before, one drop at a time. So here's the first drop of iron three chloride. This has a really pretty amber color. Give that a stir and then hold it until it is steady. So for one drop of our iron three chloride, it looks like our conductivity is 494. Okay, let's proceed with our second drop of iron three chloride. Second drop, give that a stir and a swirl and then hold it steady and let's see what the number is. Nine thirty-seven. 9.44 for our second drop of iron three chloride. And now let's do our third and final drop. Okay, so our final drop, our third drop of iron three chloride, and we're going to record the conductivity so we can compare the three. 1286 looks like our conductivity for our third drop of iron three chloride. Okay, so again, we're all done now. So we've collected all of our data. So what we can do from here is compare, again, rinse your conductivity probe um, before you clean it up and put it away. But what we can do from here is compare how does sodium chloride, zinc chloride, and iron three chloride how does the concentration of drops for each one compare in terms of conductivity and also um, between the ionic compounds? How do they compare? All done.